What's up everybody? Thanks for joining in. Today we have a very special episode. We have Ryan's 1982-911 getting built out here by Willy Works. So I want to introduce you to Willy right now, but you guys are going to be really stoked for this one. So let's go check it out. All right, Willie. Nice, to, nice meet to meet you, man. Thanks for inviting me out here. Yeah. So, can you tell me a little bit about Ryan's car? Uh, well, first of all, started this working on it like in January this year, taking it down to burn metal. We didn't know which color we were gonna go to, so at this point, I asked Ryan if he wanted to go to olive green, and he said, "Yeah, whatever you choose is fine for me." So then we started shaving like uh, sunroof and getting everything like hardware, sink plated. I think Ryan's here. Yeah, yeah, I heard the exhaust come through. Yeah. <laughs> the craziest thing about this is this is the first time I've laid eyes on it. Really? I haven't seen it since I dropped it off. So I dropped it off, I don't remember why I dropped it off, but I dropped yeah. it off red and yeah. you know, we trade pictures back and forth. Uh, we don't really talk on the phone at all. Yeah. And you show up and it's done. This is the best part about Willie is he's like the only body shop guy where you don't have to check up on him. He calls and he says it's done and you come get it and it's pretty much perfect. So Ryan, did you have a uh, vision for when uh, you had originally dropped us off or? Nah, you know what, it kind of it kind of snowballed because it, when I dropped it off, it didn't start as this. It dropped it off as he was going to kind of look at the paint and maybe we were going to paint some panels here and there because it had some, you could tell it had some bond or something like on one of the doors. Mm -hmm. and. Um, and then we kind of got into it and then our COO, Christian, he said that, well, how far are you going to take it? Maybe we could use it for SEMA. And then I said, well, I mean, if we're going to do it for SEMA, then we need to kind of go all the way. And then that's when we were originally going to do guards red. And then we said, well, if we're going to paint it, then we might as well do a different color. And then we started going back on paint colors back and forth. And then Willie basically, I mean, I let him choose the color. And we got get up right there. So that was the before. Wow. So that was a big gaping hole right there. Oh yeah, all the way down. Oh my gosh. All the layers wow. of paint and bondo. Yeah, so how many colors did it have? You said it had those. It was all red, but it had like, probably like seven coats. Wow. Pedals, and I go, all right, cool, I'll jump on Pelican, I'll get a new pel uh, just get a new set, you know? He goes, no, 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 no. I'll restore them. Uh, wow. <laughs> so you restored that. That's yeah. that right there. Yeah. yeah. And Dude. so he didn't just go out and buy like a bunch of new parts. I mean, we bought a, uh, the frames. We bought bushing kit. Bushing kit. We brought pads because they're five dollars, yeah. you know. But in terms of everything else, it's just it's completely restored. Yeah. So these pieces, or well, there's a lot of pieces. I just put them all together. Uh, deleted all the like radio and all the uh, AC stuff. We're just gonna have the ignition switch, the lights and the gas, yeah. yeah. And shave the um, the vents. So all this is, is the mold to make a carbon fiber part. Nice. Yeah, well the, the, uh, the, um, the so ashtray is gone too. <laughs> Are you gonna be producing parts or is it just a one-off? Uh, it's gonna be one-off right now. Yeah. Maybe in the future I'll make a few There more. you go, guys. Yeah. Uh, so these are the holes for the door mirrors? Yes. Okay. Oh, that's and when you welded it and shaved yeah, it? Well, nice. Shaved it. Yeah. Nice. So what are you doing for mirrors then? Uh, we're doing the uh, carbon fi uh, the, the fiberglass ones. Oh, you can put on the glass? Here, okay, yeah. gotcha. Nice. Yeah. So where did this come from? It's actually for a 97 ITR. So that's in, for the Porsche guys, that's an Integra yeah. Type R. Integra Type R. And we fit it into the Porsche bumper now. <laughs> Look at that, the legacy from the Honda scene coming straight on through. And so this was fitted to fit on the car. Beautiful. What has been the hardest thing for you on this car so far? The roof. The roof. Yeah, you the said that took a month. Yeah, like a month of work shaping the, uh, the roof. That looks so good. Look at that. Look at that reflection off the light. It's like glass. All right, Willie, so SEMA, how far is SEMA away? Uh, 40 days. 40 days to yeah. SEMA. And so 
this has to get finished up and get sent off to sleeper so they can do motor work and there's not a lot of time in between SEMA so Willie has got a lot of work cut out for him he's already done the bulk of the work so what's going to be the hardest thing left to do nothing hard right now okay so everything is you're already down you're already up the hill now you're just coasting just like everything is fitted so it should be straightforward nice now you guys can imagine Willie doing all this magical work in his own personal garage. He doesn't have a full studio, no paint booth, no rotisserie, and yet look at these results. I mean, I'm sure you guys are going to see this car at Cars and Coffee or at SEMA or a car show, but it is truly remarkable. Amazing. And according to Ryan, this car was a barn find, literally had hundreds if not thousands of acorns in the engine in the engine bay in the interior the frunk like it was littered with a bunch of rodent trappings and once this is done nobody will even know that this housed so many rodents so um what's your favorite part so far oh man i would say the interior i mean i think the interior is so over the top everybody is people have painted a portion there's a lot of Porsches on the outside that are painted well, but I think what he's done with the interior is insane. And I also think everything he's restored is is so over the top. Where again, like a lot of these guys will just go out and they'll buy all these new replacement parts, but really takes the time to actually restore all these parts. I think at the end of the day, you'll be able to say that 90% of the parts that are on the car are parts that came on the car from the factory, you know, 30, 40 years ago, whatever the date was. Yeah, that definitely, to me, that was the most impressive because it's like, you hear the word restore and you're just thinking like, you know, everything was just changed out. But like, when you say restore, like everything original that was beat up, like you made new again. Yeah, That's yeah. what's really, really, really impressive. Yeah, so we'll go to sleepers after that where uh, Len and his guys will have the motor assembled and then uh, bolt the motor in. They're gonna do a little bit of custom fabrication on some of the chassis braces and whatnot. And then uh, Ryan from Wire will wire the whole thing and then uh, Lenny will tune it uh, via AA, AM and Finney unit. Sweet, what's the ETA on the finish? Uh, it's one hour before SEMA. <laughs> really? This year? SEMA this year? Yes. Yeah, no year. way! This is the iBot food car, so we're, we're under the gun right now. <laughs> All right, guys, you guys heard it. So this will be live and direct by SEMA. So the crunch is on. But uh, thank you guys for having me. I'm sure everyone's going to get a kick out of this. And then when they see it in person, it's going to be that much more fly. Nice so, yeah, man, thank for you. sure.